previously on the season. This morning's about the whole squad too. So it takes a full squad to have a good season. Good, down there, down! Hold, 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 hold. Oscar Boyd, oh, he's pretty slow. Looks like he's running on a treadmill every time he gets the ball. Yeah. <laughs> We've got two, good team, good team! Ryan Craig, Justin Hagen. They're not going to give up yet. They want 50. Tony McGowan. He lights up. He lights it up. Joe R2. Joe R2. Joe R2. Oh, Joey R2. Joe R2. Joe R2's going to score. Joe R2 scored. I don't know how many times I said Joe R2, but he scored. Oh, beautiful. Nudgy College, where the students of the past have forged the traditions and rituals for the present day gatekeepers. And rugby is no different, with a set of quirky ceremonial protocols that have been part of the First 15 experience for many decades. There's no way they'll be here in time. Curry and Toya, they were at North Lakes 15 minutes ago. Wait, is that at North Lakes? Were they at North Lakes? It was on someone's story. 26 minutes ago, they were eating food somewhere. Are you serious? Chermside? Is that Curry? Is that Chermside? When was that? 20, 20 minutes ago. Do you reckon they just forgot about it? Oh, are they? Despite the punctuality holding up by the slimmest of margins, there is a relaxed feeling within the camp. They were eating food at Chermside or something. Everyone just on their phones. Everyone just on their phones. Last ever one. Found the dance moves. Phil, give us a head bob. Come on, Philly. Let's go. The traditional night before revolves around the team dinner, with any debutante invited to wear their formal uniform. He just, he just, why are you wearing a uniform, mate? I was told to. No, that's good, mate. Oh, for, uh, dinner. for dinner, yeah. Oh, dinner. Of course. Everyone's wanted to dinner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you just got to do it once. Yeah. I always feel it's a real privilege to come in here to the inner sanctum of the team and all that it means to be in here because not everybody gets to come in here and to be part of part of, of, of what you guys are about. Do we leave things in a better place? The school, the jersey, the shirt, the team, the house or whatever wherever it is. And, Boys, I can say from absolutely the depth of my heart, the first 15 jerseys in a better place at the end of this season than it was at the end of last year. You've lifted those standards and you've faced a real challenge. One that in 130 years, no other team has had. So I just want to say thank you for what you've done to do that because that hasn't been easy. All I can say, boys, is thank you. Good luck. Go. All right. Rory, get to uh, where you can see the screen, mate. Just move down a bit. Okay, so, you know, um, with your, your having a, your debut tomorrow, mate, and obviously with the borders being closed and mum and dad can't get up here, we tried to get the, uh, the next best thing for you, mate. Hey, Ross, uh, congratulations, mate, on your selection and up and coming debut for the uh, Nudgy First 15 this weekend. All that hard work and training and dedication you put into achieving this goal has finally paid off. And uh, we're sorry we won't be there this weekend. Obviously, with the border closures, we won't be able to make it, but we will be cheering for you from home, mate. So, well done. As I've always said to you, whatever jump you pull on, always wear it with pride and play with passion, uh, mate. So, well done and can't wait to watch the game this weekend. Just with that, on top of that, so, you know, I've put this up a couple of times through the year, that, that seven habits of a champion team, and um, for you, Rory, but also for the whole team, I think this one's really important for tomorrow, just enjoy the moment. So, you know, for the year 12s, you know, there'll be a bit of um, reflection, and it's not about thinking it's for the last time, but it's about just really enjoying being around as a team and as a group for the final time. 
Boys, just following the, the theme, it was finished the mission, so I reckon we have prepared well this week, going to finish um, the season off strong, especially with Beachy coming in, you know, we've got good enough strength to finish it off well. Um, we're going to dominate Ipswich on this, on Ross Oval, our sacred field, so just finish the season off well, boys. What are we going to do? So the coach, we can get past the cellar sauce. Yeah, bro, sure. I think you should get more of that. Your Highness. Why, why, do you decide, why do you decide to wear that? Anything clean? Huh? Anything clean? Anything on the floor, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so, boys, guys, have a sec. Uh, I'd just like to thank you all for this opportunity, especially the coaching staff for giving me the chance to play this weekend. And uh, for the boys having trust in me, being able to do a job. So, um, yeah, cheers. Let's, let's rip in on Saturday. Wow. 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 <laughs> Next year, I'm getting a better seat because like I got no room here, man. No, it's just Cooper. Cooper goes like this. Yeah, like the, the whole year, the whole year I've just been eating like this, bro, like a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> quite annoying. Oh, I actually can't eat anymore. Eh? Nah, I, I just ate two pieces. What do I do? I don't know. Just put the napkin over it? Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more. Little. Two more bites, two more bites. Two more big bites. Well, what a big bite. Uh, I got the chance to play in a pre-season game, so I, it gave me the confidence that I could um, make the, my debut throughout the year. Uh, at the back end of the pre-season, I, I realised that I had the opportunity to. I actually had no clue in the lead-up to the week. I was, I was walking a um, seconds training on a Tuesday. Scott's came over to me and said, um, then I'm making my debut this weekend and it was just, it came as a shock and I was a bit overwhelmed at the time and I was, yeah, really excited. Right, hey boys, listen in please. We'll wrap it up six o'clock, eh? You know, we've still got our goal to achieve tomorrow and it came, we've prepared really well this week, so I'm looking forward to seeing how we play tomorrow. Yes, yeah, sure. yeah, sure. Bruce Lee. Yes, sir. Look how it's Nice shots. Good evening, mate. Cheers. Yeah, mate. Good luck, Rory. Cheers. Tomorrow, finish well. Good luck tomorrow. Appreciate it. So how are we going to go today? How's the big game going to go? Oh, I, I think we'll win well. I'd expect. It's a good side this year. Yeah, very good side. So the question could be, can we keep our playing well? Home games provide old boys with the opportunity to visit the school, remain connected, and for one former First 15er, the chance to walk down memory lane. I was asked to join the board here at Nudgee, which I was uh, very privileged to do. So I've been helping them, helping them with the financial aspects of uh, running the school. There's no better community than Nudgee College, not just because what, what, it, what you can get back, it's what you can give to that community. What's a different thing? These jerseys are from when I toured this with the Australian schoolboys in 81, 82. Um, that's the, my test jersey uh, when, I, uh, when we played against Wales. That one was from a Nudgee College rugby tour that we did the, ne the following year. Um, so it's a very rare jersey because that's the only time you'll ever see when Nudgee moved out of its butcher stripe arrangement into a different type jersey. So they're very, I don't think they ever did it ever again. So I mean, there's a lot of history here. As, as an old boy, it's just terrific because you can see a lot of the people that you went to school with and, and even before you, all the heroes that you had when you went to school. The jerseys look the same from back in the, the early, early time right through to today and the history is just amazing. It just brings back memories all over the place. In all my history since I've been at Nudge in 81, I would think this is the best team I've seen, and I've seen a lot of them. And um, this team is, without doubt, if not the best, right there. And so, just want to see them finish off the way a team like that should. Any home day at Nudge is a celebration of all things that Queenslanders hold dear. Great food, even better weather, and a social opportunity for parents, caregivers and friends.
And then there's the rugby. Always competitive and entertaining, and a perfect entree to the main game on Ross. We got that? Go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Go Grimace, go Grimace, smoke them Grimace. That's perfect, like, it, it'll come, like, they'll, they'll go away. Like they're gonna hang in there, hang in there, hang in there, and then eventually they'll go away. So we just gotta stick out that. Yeah. Okay, just stick out, don't get bored with it. Like even with even with the hammers, like, we can still hammer that, I reckon. Yeah, I just, no one's Just pull them out. If they're at the back of the ruck there, just pull them out, yeah. and then say, keep hammering. Oi, hey, Flynn, you know who's gonna carry? Tens is gonna carry. Well done, Grimace, good work. Good feet, good feet. Help! Send it. It's on now, it's on. That's fantastic footy. That's good footy. Benny Shaka started that, huge run. The only time they got the ball is when we buggered up our kickoffs. So we've had three and we've stuffed up three. We finally caught one and then sort of weren't ready for that tip. So that's a massive work on for us, gents. Can we please sort out the kickoffs this half? The nudgy way is that if you play, you stay. The under 13 A's will dust themselves off, gather their thoughts, and fill the grandstand for the 2.15 kickoff. Out of us whacking them for five minutes and then us getting the ball and just running real hard. Stay in the grind, just keep working, just keep working. We are nudgy! We are nudgy! We are nudgy! Let's go, Tori! Let's go! <laughs> My boy Tori! They had like nothing to lose, like it wasn't their top team either. We came to the game with the mindset of not really premiership but easy game. They hadn't won a game this year. There was just too much excitement. Uh, there wasn't really enough focus on the game. Just getting the job done first. He kicked well from here. He'll kick this. And then one try in there in front. Score goes 10-6 to nothing. Who's score next? Good ball. Go, Sut. No! Go, go, go! We've literally got to hang on to the ball for more than two phases. Come on. That's it, that's it, give. Go, go, go! Help him! Help him! Come on. What happens when you don't hold your line in defence? There was holes everywhere. Yes! Oh, what a tackle. Good tackle. Nudgy's greatest ever team are turning in their worst performance of the year. Soft defence, man. An Ipswich can sense an upset. Stolen, stolen! Get out of here! Trouble there. Trouble. Ball there, we gotta get the ball at. Yes! Forward pass, forward pass. It's a game of inches and a straight Ipswich foot prevents a disastrous end to the season. How long to go? How long to go? Sorry. How long to go? How much time left here, Harry? Here, um, so I've got about seven to go. I've got about seven minutes. Here we go. Straight. Seriously. They don't want it. They don't want it. That's the result we needed. That's exactly what we needed. You're right. That's exactly what we needed. Get it out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hey, thanks for that, man. Cheers. Good on you, mate. Well done, boys. Hey, just 30 seconds. L listen, we, we set ourselves a goal, didn't we? Undefeated. Okay, and we are undefeated. Wasn't pretty today. <laughs> but. but. But at the end of the day, all you, all you ever want to do is achieve your goal. And not only five comp games did we win, I talk about the eight trials and all of it, boys. No one beat us this year, eh? So really, really well done. Get over there to support us, boys. The feeling of winning like the last game or even the first game and just seeing all the boys 
supporting us. You can't really put into words that feeling. To be at the end of the season and undefeated is just crazy. Yeah, as soon as the whistle blew, that was my eight years at Nudgee Rugby done. My last game ever and more importantly the last 24 months of intensive training for me. It was all worth it. Got to play the entire season. It was really satisfying knowing that we'd gone undefeated. I was sad because it was going to be the last time of it that I'll ever wear the Nudgee jersey and um, but at the same time I was, I was really excited. It was a big relief. The sort of final minutes of the game were pretty tense and for that final to go and just the relief you felt and, and knowing that we'd just finished undefeated was a pretty special feeling and it was um, pretty special to be a part of that. We just dropped the ball all the time, yeah. mate, and I think the boys wanted it a bit easy. Undefeated, mate, the boys did a great job. I'm not sure we can play much better than we did last week. Yeah, did I? All the support over the years? Yeah, yeah awesome. Thank you. Undefeated season, mate. Good boy, yeah. hey. My dream, yeah. Good on you. Thanks, Andrew. No, no, awesome, Thank mate. He's been great to coach, Come mate. On. He's been great. next time on The Season. I don't want to sit next to you, you stink. You'd like to deliver extraordinary results in a most difficult environment. All right, boys, All right, let's line up, tallest to shortest. When we were in the dark, some of the boys really shone their light.